In this video, we will be discussing how to add a surface between objects, the rule surf and tab surf commands. If you'd like to follow with this video, please open the file Add a Surface Between Objects, the Rule Surf and Tab Surf Commands .dwg, located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this Dataset video. The Tab Surf and Rule Surf command are located in the Mesh Tab Primitives panel. Before we actually start the commands, we need to talk about two system variables that are used to create the surfaces when you run these commands. There's a Surf Tab 1 and Surf Tab 2 variable. The Surf Tab 1 variable defines the number of surfaces or tabulations that AutoCAD will use to create a linear object, or the number of surfaces that it will use to create the circumference of a round object. The higher the value, the more accurate your surface will look. However, this can increase the file size as well as take time for regeneration. Let's set our value to 20. The Surf Tab 2 variable defines the number of surfaces AutoCAD will use to create latitudinal sections along the path of rotation of an object. We'll set this one to 20 as well. Let's first create a tank. So I've got some lines and circles already generated for this file. And let's go ahead and set our current layer to M tank. We'll go to the primitives panel, go to the tab surf command, and the first thing it tells you to select is the object for the path curve. So we want to select the circle as our object. Then it's asking for the direction vector. We'll select that object and notice how we have our tank. Now let's go ahead and delete this object and type in surf tab one again, and let's make it back down to six. Now let's run the command again, and let's see what happens. Notice how you only get six surface sides to our surface. This of course is not very accurate, which is why you can increase the value of surf tab one and surf tab two. Let's undo that, and we'll set our surf tab one variable back to 20, and rerun that command. Now let's look at the rule surf command. The rule surf command, located right here, creates a mesh that represents a surface between two lines or curves. So let's go ahead and change our layer to M catcher, and then we'll click on the rule surf command, and it does matter which order you select your objects. So if you look over here, I've got these two lines, and I want to create a surface between them to finish the creation of this catcher. I'll go ahead and pick this top one first, and this bottom line next, and there's our catcher. I'll rerun the command. But this time, let's go ahead and pick the top first and the bottom next. Notice how you get an undesired result. So again, it does actually matter which order you select the objects. I'll rerun the command, select the bottom, then the top, and there's our new surfaces. And so lastly here, let's go ahead and change our layer to m-stack, and let's use that rule surf command to actually use these circles here to create some surfaces for the stack. And that's it. We have our initial beginnings of our train surfaces. This concludes this video discussing add a surface between objects, the rule surf, and tab surf commands.